sake of other humans. <laughs> You know, the only difference between this and porno is the fact that it's not in my mouth right now, okay? Why is it such a big deal for you to have the mic closer right. to your face? Oh, I don't know. Uh, memories of Bandcamp? Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yeah go ahead and argue about Bandcamp, huh? This one time at Bandcamp? Oh, let me tell you. Well, this one time at Bandcamp, they told us how the ovens were used, and that's when Louis Levy crawled inside one. And then God. began my adventures. God damn it! I miss you, those Bandcamp. That may have been a different time of game. I don't know, either way, Timmy made one hell of a noise while it lasted. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought he was beating on the oven door out of excitement. It wasn't until grief counseling that we found out it was really different. <laughs> that was not what was going on. What the hell? I see, this was back when Pokemon came out too, and we knew how they were. <laughs> I got the oven stone. <laughs> The oven zone was super effective. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that explains why I wasn't allowed to his funeral. <laughs> Were you the one controlling it? <laughs> the casting? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm just saying that little <laughs> Timmy, the oven, Back to the Future and Pokemon do not go well together, okay? What the fuck? Maybe if our parents loved us enough to teach us how the fucking oven worked, little Timmy would still be here right now. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask. Be very afraid. No, don't be afraid. Great. I'm almost afraid to ask what Back to the Future has to do with this. <laughs> Those flux capacitors. <laughs> That's exactly what the heating elements look like. <laughs> you know that now that now that I remember, that's why they wouldn't let me put in an event together. When I finally realized what actually happened to Little Timmy, and the bad thing. Uh, somehow, bonfire for burn victims was from the. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it's gonna fall out of this fucking chair in a little bit? Little poor man. It's, like the, it's, like, it's like the what was it you said? The uh, buffet for anorexics? Oh, oh no, <laughs> buffet for Bolivia. <laughs> what about tanning for the albinos? Is that a thing? It is now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walk a mile for anorexics. <laughs> nah, uh, I'm trying to think of what a mile would be great for. Uh, Paraplegics? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Walk a mile. Yeah, yeah, well, that's game. great. Make it feel bad. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Today's been a good day. We talked about what horrible pieces of shits we are. <laughs> Oh, absolutely horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> any inkling, any idea, any thought of being politically correct just went out the window. Oh, oh, they shit, yeah. I'm out. There are still filters in place. Oh, God. But the doctor assures me it'll go away soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. You have no idea. He, he, he's, been, he's been doing this all day. <laughs> Oh, Did you trigger him? <laughs> I didn't trigger him. Why would you do that? The drunk guy next to him. Yeah, I think it's the drunk guy that we made right. friends with. He lived next to a drunk guy. But seriously, uh, he offered us a drink and then he poured a coke into a glass and then he pulled out what was it? Uh, bourbon. He pulled out vodka. Yeah, that was vodka. That wasn't water, did you? Yeah, yeah, he just pulled it right out of the freezer, poured it into his drink, and we're out there talking. And he, well, he was talking. And me and that man here were just kind of nodding our heads. We're like, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that rain? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's about to back to Florida. Oh, Rice! Alright. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Oh, no, you are not. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, hey, no, fuck you.